Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Hot Action Fishing and Fab. We're uh, back here at the green water again, looking to catch ourselves uh, maybe another big old snook or some trout or possibly a big redfish. But uh, we're heading out right now. We'll, uh, well, you guys will see if we catch them. Enjoy. This morning we're uh, we're just working these. Odd's got a bone white Zara spook tied on, and I have a red and white Zara spook tied on, and we are just working this this back bay. It's loaded up with bait, and there's tons of mullet jumping. We're seeing fish rolling. There's a bunch of white bait getting getting pushed around. So uh, hopefully we can connect this morning and catch something real big. Yeah, Audrey's first time working a topwater. She's uh, she's getting the hang of it. She's uh, walk the dog pro already yeah you can just slow it down speed it up pause it every once in a while just change up your uh, retrieve and see if something will crush it because sometimes they don't want it just ripping fast and i gotta always slow myself down because i'm always wanting to work this thing crazy fast but sometimes they want it with a little pause in it that they'll they'll smack it as soon as you pause it sometimes they'll hit it right after your pause when you start working it again sometimes just casting it and after it lands just letting it sit there for a minute at, you know watching the rings from the cast go away and they'll come up and smack it while it's doing that i think a lot of times with the predator fish when you cast it and the bait hits the water like they they hear it and then the rings come out and then they feel it and then they can kind of zero in on where your bait's at and they'll come up and smack it <laughs> They're huge up here. They're giant mullets. Every single one of them. Just, they got to be at least like a pound and a half, two pounds. Net them, put them on the smoker for a catch and cook. <laughs> Make a smoke mullet dip out of them. I had that in a while. Mm-mm. Pretty good weekend of smoke. That is true. It's a beautiful weekend. Oh my goodness gracious, that is insane, babe. Holy shit. Drag, babe. Right here, right here. Oh my goodness. That sounded like a freaking giant. Oh my gosh. Come on. You're doing a good job, babe. You don't want to do it. Down there, you can talk. You can turn the fire, turn around, get close. So, see if it's longer. Same thing, just grab onto his little tail. Oof, he is green. He's red. And just wiggle his. Oh, there there he, goes. he goes. Smile, babe. <laughs> Good job. Can't tell I'm super jealous right now. <laughs>
time of year they come in school, so. Oh shit! I was about to say, I wouldn't be surprised if I hooked another one. <laughs> <laughs> Get this plug I bet it is another one too. The way you hit, did it look like yep. very similar? I just feel similar. Yep, I think it is. Yep. <laughs> is it? I can't. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it uh -huh. is another red. Same red. That's even bigger, I think. <laughs> what did you do? You better put your top water back on. Damn, that was quick. Good job. <laughs>make sure you take the scales off the hook point because you could cost yourself a fish if you don't do that we found a nice little sweet spot right in the mangroves and uh, I used my little stake out pole and we're staked out trying to catch these little redfish that are in this pocket right here oh my goodness did you just catch another, dude, is that a giant mangrove snapper? Yeah, it is. No, you got your fourth redfish. Or your third redfish. That was what came after it earlier, too. Everyone. That one's a three-spotter. One, two, three.
with a tangled up cork. <laughs> Get back here. Get back here. <laughs> He's a little better than he looked when he was jumping out there. 